Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, here are the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 22 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. Alright, let's get started here. Got two barrels, green herb, and handgun ammo. Okay, let's look at this letter here. Letter from Ada. Once a plaga egg hatches, it's nearly impossible to remove it from the body. But if it's before it hatches, then it can be neutralized by medication. If it does hatch, you might be able to get it out by surgery before it turns to an adult, but it won't be easy. There's a high chance you won't survive the operation. As far as I know, the girl was injected with the egg before you. Her time is ticking. You should prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. Alright, so that was the final file for Castle, which is good. Let's head in, head in here to the merchant. Okay, so what have I got? Okay, let's upgrade the firepower for this. Leave the capacity. Don't worry about that either. Wait, broken butterfly. Did I run out of ammo for that? No, I'm actually not sure. And I have three. I was trying to see it. Uh, striker is fine. Let's power up the firepower though. Let's power up the firepower of the sniper rifle. TMP is good. Let's keep it where it is. Okay. Uh, and we can sell the crown now. It is worth... 48,000. Apparently it's the single most expensive thing that you can sell, which is really good. Okay, let's continue. So there are a few little items that we can collect in this chapter. There's, um, there are no yellow herbs, or was it the previous chapter? Can't quite remember. Uh... Gosh, I've lost my place. Four, three. Okay, yeah, there's one yellow herb. Uh, the previous chapter didn't have any. Okay, there's a bird's nest just up here, but I'm gonna leave it for a sec because I want to take out these guys. There's actually a way to take out three enemies in this spot. And I think... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to quickly go back now with Ditman and I'll upgrade the capacity. I know I only saved like two bullets, but it's something. So go over here. Okay, tune up. And rifle capacity. Hmm, that was interesting. He didn't open his coat when I tried to talk to him there. I wonder if that was a, a byproduct of... Um, the Dipman glitch, or if it was because I talked to him from a little further away or something, I don't know. Alright, there's a bunch of en enemies in this section, uh, but they're not too bad, so just, just snipe them. Cool. Also, these ones don't turn into the, the tentacle enemies, which is nice. Can I see? They're so fast though, that's the thing. You have to wait until they get close and they stop kind of moving. Oh, the double. Oh, okay, they do. Must have just got really lucky during practice. No. Nice. And this guy, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, that clears all of them out. Let's try and get all the... Oh, that's weird. Was that from an enemy? <laughs> Why was it all the way over there? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I will need to use a whole bunch of sniper bullets. Oh, I am very low though. That's alright. Alright, there's a spinal here. There's a... I think it's a spinal as well. Over here. I have Dipman active as well, which is why I'm running so fast, but that's okay. It makes it a little bit quicker to pick stuff up. There's no more enemies in this section, so I think it makes sense to have it. Uh, always try and find everything here. I think there's some... Oh, no, that was from a drop before. Oh, what's up? Oh, I missed that one during practice. Hang on a sec. I missed this one during practice too. Okay, so money. I can drop down over here if I can. There we go. Inside this is a velvet blue. Some money over here. Uh, don't worry about this. We're gonna find out what that's for eventually. Flash grenade. Anything else? I 
think that might be it. Okay, now if we look at our map, it actually tells us to... Our destination is right here, so let's see what happens. It's locked. Offer the sacrifice to the lion. Alright, well we need to find that sacrifice. Luckily, if we go around here, just have a quick look. Okay, cool. Jump through this window. Get some money. And we operate this. We can rotate this to unlock a new passage. The secret passage. Where we might find some hidden treasure. Alright, let's have a look. So, up ahead rests the offering to the line. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, now, let me think. Alright, this part is... it's okay. Oh, I do not have... I have so little sniper rifle ammo. Okay, well, that's gonna pose a significant issue. But that's okay. So what I like to do here is... Pin the herd. No, 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 don't see me. Nice, got him. Nice. <laughs> and I think there's one over there too. And die. Okay. Okay, two sniper rifle ammo. What's in this one here? Nothing. Wait, was there one more? No. Oh, hang on. Let me check again. <laughs> no, okay. Okay, I gotta get this guy too. Be very careful. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a different weapon. Uh, let's use this. I was like, how are you not dead yet? Alright, let's go around. So, this area has a lot of traps. So be very careful. Like, watch your step. There's one. There's a velvet blue over here. Go through here. Get all these traps. Oops. One. Two. I think there's someone coming coming after me, but... I know he's over there. Wait, I'm pretty sure there's one like over there. Yeah, okay. I can see him. I'm just gonna leave him alone. There is one single enemy down here, so... Oh, you know what? I've got so many bullets of, for this handgun, let's just use it. Oh, he's not here. That's cool. Okay. Well then, that gives me an opportunity to check something. We just got the Staff of Royalty. It's just a, uh, a pretty good valuable that we can sell later. Now you can hear someone growling. Pretty sure it's the chainsaw enemy that's at the top of that... Um, ladder so i'm gonna try and have a look yeah okay so with this chainsaw guy i'm gonna try and take him out with this sniper rifle it's one may as well reload i was gonna say come on mate you're dreaming if you think you're gonna get me with that now the good thing about the sniper uh the uh chainsaw enemy is that he should stay where he is for the most part and he's not going to move too much during my practice um, my first practice I was able to take him out in five shots uh, when I practiced this like barely an hour ago it took about six but there's a chance I, I like didn't hit him a hundred percent in the head although I don't know this game is kind of weird like that just trying to look at the ceiling see if there's anything up there Cool. Alright, one more should do. And then once we have him dealt with, there's kind of a tactic that I used to take out a bunch more enemies that show up. Okay, so that was five. I don't think he's quite dead, because I can hear the music and the chainsaw. But this next one should kill him or should get him really close. Okay, let's try that. Okay, he's still not dead. That's fine. I'll climb up. Hitting him with the striker should pretty much finish him. Okay, cool. Take, get the key to the mine, go over here, and you'll notice a bunch of enemies are going to start climbing this uh, ladder. What you want to do, as they jump in, just keep shooting them 
to the floor over there. Like that. And then use an incendiary grenade. And that should pretty much finish them off. Maybe not this one here. Nice. Okay, but we're not done yet. We've got one more guy to deal with. Do not reload your magnum. We're going to use it. Do not reload it. One. Two. Three. There we go. Nice. That was like three magnum shots and four shotgun blasts. Okay. Wow, we've got a lot of hand grenades. Uh, we've got four. And wow, we've got four and four flashes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Don't forget this. This is the next yellow herb. Beautiful. All right. So shotgun. Oh, wow. I need a lot more shotgun bullets. <laughs> Looks like TMP is going to be the, the thing that I use for the bit coming up. Uh, that's fine. No more red herbs. Okay, let's use Dipman to move a little bit quicker. This door down here can actually be uh, destroyed with a gun if you want. The That weird, like, um, this thing that was above uh, the... The chainsaw guy doesn't um, like it doesn't do anything if you if you just shoot it down it doesn't like cause like a flame like some of the other ones did earlier I think there's a red herb here yep grab that and pop those two together okay now this room not too bad so use the key to the mine let's head on through this is another little trap room, very similar to the one that Salazar trapped us in earlier. So all you have to do is run in, get this cutscene, watch out for these little guys, quickly shoot that one, shoot that one, run over here, now run here, shoot this one, shoot that one. If you do exactly that, you should be able to get through it. Turn. Nice. Okay. Done. And if you open this, you get a bunch of pays after this. 2,000, 1,500, and 1,800, which is actually what I got during practice, so it seems to be fairly consistent. Okay, this room is a whole lot of nothing. Well, for the most part, there's a few things in here, but not much. There's a random spinal in here, some barrels. Velvet blue and anything else? Some money. All right, cool. Let's enter this next room. And now we come to. Hang on a sec. Drop on shells five. That's good. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Hmm. Wait. I wonder. Can I destroy these? No. <laughs> uh, okay. This is a minecart, and what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. And we're going to go all the way around this path to get to our destination over there. So let's try and do that. And in order to make it go, you need to jump over and shoot the switch. Okay, this could be tough. Um, you can do this a few ways. Like you can try and shoot the guys off as they jump in. Which actually, because I'm so low on shotgun ammo, I may try and do so they will drop stuff, so be be cautious. Oh, secondary path, that seems to lead to a dead end. They seem to also have far less HP than they would usually have. <laughs> nice, that's cool. Some of them missed the minecart completely, so you have that to your advantage. Shotgun is definitely the way to go here, but because I have such little ammo for it, I'm like sticking to the handgun. Um, if you don't shoot this uh, board, um, Leon will have to do one of the QTEs, so probably shoot it is a good idea. Okay, this guy flips a switch. I cannot... 
No. Okay, we may have to switch. Uh, ooh. Let's do this then. We are running out of ammo with the other thing anyway, so... Let's fire upon it, everyone. Okay, good. If you shoot the switch, you, you can just continue. But what I want to do is I want to try and get... Oh gosh. Give me this. Let me have a full refill. Oh, I missed that too. Jumping over, you're always, um... Invincible. Oh god. Okay, there. I shot the switch. Let's go. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to farm a little bit here or if you want to just go for it. Up, up, up. Turn. Hmm. I love using TMP actually. <laughs> nice. I always like to stay on this side because that way you can see what's coming. Oh god, chainsaw guy. I don't mind these guys jumping in, but the chainsaw guy... Probably don't want to let him jump in. Money! More money! How many uh, bullets do I have left? Okay, still a fair bit. Probably will have to reload some stuff later now that I'm thinking about it. Because <laughs> there's no merchant for a little while. Now I'll show you the QT for this one. So... Okay, there we go. I kind of just let these guys jump in because I wanted to actually use my bullets on something. Alright, and when you get here, you're pretty much at the end. I, yeah, I can't reach the other side now. You can't jump from cart to cart at this point. It's just moving too quickly. Get ready for a final QTE. And jump. And now, press the square button. We did it! We survived! <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, <laughs> two sniper rifles of ammo over there. That's interesting, you can't actually have the little red dot. But the shotgun shells that we found... You know what, I'm shooting this thing, hang on. Yeah, the shotgun shells that we found uh, in that little like dungeon where we saw that wolverine enemy for the first time you could shoot. <laughs> you got the stone of sacrifice. Okay, and let's go. Okay, so we found the offering that we need to give to that lion and lo and behold, we're back here again. Hooray, we came out of that spot that I said don't worry about it. <laughs> and now we just go over here. I think this is the end, I can't remember now. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, key item. Walk in and operate. Alright, awesome. We finished the chapter. And now we have chapter 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so let's save here. Oh, actually I wanted to save on the next one. That's fine. Right, and now this uh, elevator took us to the castle again. Um, there's a save point there and some handgun ammo. You can see what we have left to do. So we did this section just before. Um, and we need to go through here. And then we get to that point and then we go somewhere else. You'll see. Uh, for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 22 of Let's 100% Resident Evil 4. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.